U.S. state of Nevada, for example, Schott has built the world's third largest solar power station, which supplies some 40,000 households with solar energy. The parabolic reflectors are made in Germany, and that's where we went to learn more about it. Here's our report. We're at the Research and Development Department of Schott Solar, an area normally off-limits to journalists. We want to know what the scientists there are currently working on. This is a solar cell like the ones we're currently manufacturing. We want to improve both its efficiency and its mechanical properties. It's quite common for this silicon material to break. It's quite brittle. And the trend towards increasingly larger and thinner production formats is an added challenge. Efficiency is the buzzword at Schott Solar. The firm invests millions in research and development every year, continually fine-tuning its products. So is this a job with a future, we ask? Yes, we're expanding rapidly. Practically every week we have new members of staff arriving. We have a lot to do because of the volume of research needed in this area of new technology. The financial crisis appears to have bypassed the solar industry. Company spokesman Lars Waldmann says Schott Solar sales totaled 482 million euros last year, an increase of nearly 70 percent compared to 2007. The company was all set to be floated on the stock market, but then everything changed. Last autumn you wanted to go public, but the financial crisis forced a change of plan. Will you try again? There's still no sign of the market calming down, so we haven't set a new date yet. But we haven't abandoned our plans to go public. The company was hoping to raise hundreds of millions of euros through the flotation. But Lars Wadmann says the firm can cope with the delay and already has enough capital to last until 2011. Meanwhile, demand is rising for thin film solar modules like these that can be fitted into windows or installed on the outside of buildings. The firm is now looking to expand its operations in the United States. Do you have a market for these in the United States? We've sold these in the U.S. One major project was the Stillwell Avenue Station, a large subway station in Coney Island, New York City. The thin film modules were integrated into the roof there. Has the project become something of an advert for the firm in the U.S.? You could say that, yes. The project drew a lot of attention in the United States. And that in turn generated increased demand for our thin film modules. They can be integrated into buildings and facades. And the world's largest solar electricity The firm now has customers all over the world, despite the financial crisis. In fact, the solar industry is benefiting from the stimulus packages passed by governments around the world. So what could the future hold for Schott Solar in the U.S.? Schott Solar has been in the U.S. for many years. Obviously, we're watching very closely what's happening there now with Barack Obama. There's been an unbelievable green revolution in the U.S. since he came to power, with incentives to invest in renewable energies. And with the stimulus program that's now been passed, we see huge market opportunities, which is why we're working on a new production plant in New Mexico, due to open in May. A new plant in the U.S., creating 1,000 jobs, the biggest investment in the firm's history. Despite the crisis, it seems the sun is still shining on the German solar industry.